Tony Huge with EnhancedAthlete.com here with Dave Palumbo, legendary bodybuilder who's going to show us some awesome squatting techniques. He's going to demonstrate first and then I'm going to do it and he's going to critique how I'm doing it because probably what I'm doing wrong is probably what you would be doing wrong so you can learn from how we're doing it a lot. You know, I, I always say this, the squat is the, is the main mass building movement and a lot of people squat but a lot of people don't squat right. They just squat because they want to move heavy weight. They use their back a lot. They put their feet too close together. They don't engage all the muscles of their legs. You know, because two thirds of your leg mass is your action, your, your adductors are your inner thighs. And most people don't engage with that. So I think the key is number one, you have to open your stance up. If your stance is too close, your legs are touching each other. So when you come down, you're not using these adductors here. You're only using the front quads. And so a lot of people are front quad dominant, but their legs look skinny because they don't have any in, inner thigh, you know. So you got to open the stance up wider than shoulder width, and you don't want your feet pointing out like this. You don't want like a duck squat. That's not going to bring the right muscles. You want your, your, your feet pointing forward. And something that a lot of people, you know, tend to do when they squat down is they start to readjust their feet. Where it's comfortable, they, or they think it's comfortable, they wind up like this, or they wind up like this. You don't move. Once you put those feet there, they're planted. They don't move. Okay? I don't care if it doesn't feel comfortable or you feel like you need to adjust. You know they're right right now. So don't, in your mind, say they need to be. Now, I even tell people who's tend to be kind of I actually put a plate next to their foot sometimes to hold it there. But if, you, if, you're, if you're, you know, conscious of this, you shouldn't move. What, once you set yourself here, now you, you're going to go down. Once you go down, you don't want your knees in. You want to open your knees up because you want to bring these adductors in. So you, you, as you come down and lower yourself, all the weight is on your heels and your feet. You don't want to be on the toes. You want to sit back on those heels. And you want to lower yourself all the way down so you're about here. Now I would That's call low. I would call that for, I would call that below parallel, but I wouldn't call it excessive. See how he's his his butt his hips are below his knees by just a little bit. But if you notice, I'm sitting upright. I'm not leaning over. Okay, I'm not doing this. I'm on my heels and I'm sitting back like I'm going to the bathroom. Folks. And once you hit this point and pause for one Mississippi, then you drive up off the heels and you come back up. So as you come down, you open the knees up. When you hit the, this point, you squeeze, and you can break, you'll feel your glutes, and you'll feel your adductors all contracting. You won't feel that if your feet are too narrow, and you won't feel it if you're stopping here. Most people squat to here. So they're lifting a lot of weight, but they're using no glute, and they're not engaging these adductors. Once you go break this parallel, you will feel muscles you never felt before. And that's the secret. That's the whole secret to squatting, really. Let me see you there. Uh, warming up before squatting, you think, do you like the idea of doing cardio or do you like the idea of jumping in with just a much lighter squatting weight than yeah, you're Yeah, I usually warm up with light squats. But I mean, if you tend to be, I, a lot of times I stretch before I squat because I feel a little stiff. But that's because I'm older. <laughs> All right, so my feet are wide. Right. My toes are not pigeon toed, no. they're still pointed forward. I'm now putting the left one, it can be a little, bring it in a little bit. Okay. More. Right. I'm putting the weight on the heels. Right. I'm arching my back a little bit, letting right. the bar roll the back, on the heel, the back of my traps. Right. You're going to find it's going to be much more difficult because you're not used to squatting like this. Yeah. All the way down. Oh, yeah. Now squeeze, push from the heels, drive from the heels. You'll feel your glutes in your Oh, arms. yeah. You'll probably have trouble sitting on the toilet tomorrow morning. <laughs> uh, and, and sometimes if shoes don't have a good arch, uh, a good lift in the back, it's hard also to do that. So, all the way down. There you go. You probably won't be able to lift the weight you normally do, but you know what? You're engaging muscles now that you've never engaged before, and you're going to see a tremendous amount of new development in doing it like this. Oh. That's the right way to squat. You know, do you like the people, idea of breathing in on the way down or holding your breath? Actually, most people will hold their breath. They say don't hold your breath, but if, when the weight gets heavy, you hold your breath. There's no way to, to avoid it. If you can breathe, you can breathe. It's an anaerobic exercise, so there's no reason why you need to breathe. You know, how, how many reps do you like doing for your heavier squat sets? Um, four to six for the heavy sets. Obviously about ten to warm up to really get engage those muscles. Because you've never squatted like this before, you probably won't be able to go too much heavier, but you're better off doing sets of maybe eight to ten reps to get in the groove. It takes two to three weeks to get used to this type of squatting. And like I said, you're going to be sore tomorrow, so you don't want to go too heavy where you're going to be crippled, you know? Especially with your, your travel uh, schedule. Right? <laughs> yeah. I'll say at the bottom of this range of motion, when I go really deep, I really feel a stretch in my glutes. And when I start driving up, a full contraction of my glutes, which I don't normally feel when I'm squatting like and, that. And you're using adductor muscles, which you don't usually normally use. You have good front quads, but you lack in here the adductor compartment because 
once again, you probably never engaged because you probably weren't going quite enough. Right. Your feet are drifting out a little bit. I, I don't know if you're aware of that. Oh, yeah. So, so bring him in a little bit. Bring the so whole just like in. he warmed, just like he warned me, my I legs are sliding I out. I think you're slipping more than anything. So okay. you can bring him in even a little closer. There you go, right there. Perfect. Matt, you'll get used to that. Yeah, you got to find a pair of shoes that are comfortable because I like something with a higher lift in the back, like these Nike shocks, even though they're a little beat up. Because they, they kind of lift you up a little. It makes it easier to push from your heels. Now, guys, if you, if you doubt the importance of squatting, you can look at Kevin Lavroni, right? Because Kevin Lavroni, he couldn't squat heavy because of the injury before the competition, so he couldn't fully develop his legs. And back in 96, Kevin and I squatted together. We both went up to, I think, five feet. He was six weeks out from the Arnold. I was 300 and something pounds. And we both squatted exactly the same. It was amazing. Wide stance, deep squats. You know, push you from the heels. That's what works. Look at the guys who have the best legs. They all squat the same way. There is some exceptions to the rule, like Dorian Yates, right? He just used leg presses. He, he, was, he would Smith machine squat because he had a back problem. But I think early in his career, he did squat to build those legs. That's yeah. So you think that heavyweight squats, like using a, not necessarily how many plates you do, but heavy it for the heavy, movement. Sure, right. Is important. You, when you squat like this, after three or four weeks, your weights will go way up. Even though you might have to drop down lighter initially, when you start getting used to this, you will get crazy strong because the adductors and glutes are much more powerful muscles than, say, the front quads are. So you'll see that. Guys, if you like the video, subscribe. Follow Dave Colombo and RX Muscle for one of the most comprehensive channels ever created in bodybuilding history on information on nutrition and training and the science of bodybuilding. Like the video and comment below so we know what you think about this video and how we can improve and be swell and swole, my friends of freedom, pioneers of human evolution.